why you need to watch this video. Because from 1st of July 2023, Universal Analytics will stop processing data. From 1st of July 2023, GA4 will start becoming applicable. So you need to use this time to set it up for yourself and for your clients. If you need any expert assistance, please reach out to us at consult at armworldwide.com. Creating a successful website is not a one and done thing. Businesses constantly need to monitor how customers are using their site and mobile apps optimize their website based on user behavior. They gain insights and leads via Google Analytics and various channels around the conversion and source of traffic. Google launched the service in November 2005 after acquiring Urchin. Google came into the analytics tracking system from 2012 and we have been using this system for a long, long time. Recently, Google made an announcement and decided to make GA4 the default version. Hi, this is Madhus Gulati, and in today's episode of This Week in Digital, we'll be touching upon four new features that have been introduced in this new version of Google Analytics, just GA4. Let us first understand what is Google Analytics for GA4 and how it is different from Universal Analytics. The major difference between GA4 and Universal Analytics are based on a couple of parameters. The first one being hits against events, and the second one being the cross-platform analytics and tracking of web and app both. What GA4 does, it uses a single property to track both web and app data. What we need to do is we need to go to the settings section and set data stream in the admin console. What used to happen earlier uh, on the web, we used to track sessions, page views, and sources. And on the app front, we used to track app head, app crashes, stability of the app, also the visitor and acquisition, and the overall report as such. This is something which used to happen back in the day when we used to have two different streams of data flowing into the system. But with Universal Analytics going off and GA4 coming in, we are able to track it through a single property only. Secondly, the major difference between GA4 and Universal Analytics is event-based data model. Normally, what a person does when he goes to the website, they click on the page, they might stroll the page, they might do a video play, or they might do a form fit. What used to happen in Universal Analytics is that we used to set up individually through GTM. But what has been enabled in GA4, they are default events, you just need to go on the console or select or deselect events based on the business requirements. Thirdly, GA4 helps us with machine learning powered insights. It helps us with automating insights, predictive analysis, some meaningful trends. It also helps in recommendation to optimize marketing efforts and also helps in improving user behavior. For instance, if I'm planning for a campaign, the system has the ability to analyze past data and give us recommendations for the next seven days. It will use the past data to analyze the ratios, for instance, click to conversion ratio or conversion to registration ratio and come back with predictive analytics and suggest how many number of users need to count for the, on the website for getting X number of transactions. Fourthly, enhanced reporting and analysis. The final major feature that GA4 offers is an improved reporting interface with a focus on exploration and analysis. It provides flexible and customizable reports, advanced segmentation options, and a more intuitive user interface to help you dig deeper into your data and extract actionable insights like trends, type marketing campaigns, and improving customer experience. One of our NGO clients successfully leveraged an enhanced reporting and analysis of GA4. To use this feature, you need to enable it on your GA4 property. Once you have enabled it, you will see a new reports tab in your GA4 interface. This tab will display a number of pre-built reports as well as blank canvas where you can create your own custom reports. And with this, we conclude this week's episode of TWID. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.